we have an integral to evaluate. Integral from 0 to 3 of x to 1 half times 27 minus x cubed to negative 1 half dx. An expression under the integral isn't a simple thing to integrate, so we can try and use, try and apply all those integrals to see if they can be of any help. If we look at this integral carefully, we'll notice a couple of things. First of all, what we have there is a product of two power functions. A similar construction is under the integral of beta function. Only our integral contains x cubed and x in the brackets of uh, in, a, in the brackets in expression of beta function is raised to first power. Also, the limits of integration of our given integral are 0 and 3, whereas beta function has limits from integration 0 and 1. So it seems reasonable that we try it and transform the given integral into beta function. First of all, let's see if there's anything we can do with the limits of integration. And the first thing that I'll suggest to do is to factor out 27. So we have integral from 0 to 3 of x to 1 half times 27 to negative 1 half times 1 minus x cubed over 27 to negative 1 half dx. We can pull 27 to negative 1 half out front and we'll have this number multiplied by integral from 0 to 3 of x to, ne uh, to 1 half times 1 minus x over 3 cubed to negative 1 half dx. Now let us make a substitution. Let's denote x over 3 as d. So we have x over 3 equals d and so x equals 3d dx equals 3 dt. Notice that the limits of integration change. And while we still have d equals 0 for x equals 0, for x equals 3, t equals 1. And so our integral is transformed into the following. 27, which we can express as 3 cubed to negative 1 half times integral from 0 to 1 times 1 sorry integral from 0 to 1 of 3 to 1 half times t to 1 half times 1 minus t cubed to negative 1 half times 3 dt. We can pull all the numbers out front and so obtain 3 to negative 3, thir 3 second times 3 to 1 half times 3 times the integral from 0 to 1 of t to 1 half times 1 minus t cubed to negative 1 half now these numbers multiplied give us 1, which leaves us with this integral over there. Integral from 0 to 1 of t to 1 half times 1 minus t cubed to negative 1 half dt. Now we have the required limits of integration, we have 0 and 1, but we still have this third power within the brackets. So this means that we're going to have to make another substitution. Integral we've obtained from 0 to 1 of t to 1 half 
times 1 minus t cubed to negative 1 half dt. And I suggest that we denote it t cubed as u. So we'll have t equals u to one third dt equals one third times u to negative two thirds. The limits of integration remain the same, so we'll still have zero u equals zero for t equals zero and u equals one for t equals one. So we obtain the following integral from zero to one of u to one third to one half times one minus u to negative one half times one third I forgot the u over here times one third times u to negative two thirds du which is equal to integral from zero to one and we can do one third out front. So what we have under the integral is u to one sixth times u to negative two thirds times one minus u to negative one half du. Which is equal to one third times integral from zero to one of u to negative one half times one minus u to negative one half du. And this integral looks pretty much like beta function. So according to the formula, we have p minus one the power standing next to x over here and next to u over here equals negative one half and therefore p equals one half and then q minus one the power standing next to an expression put in the brackets here and here equals negative one half and q equals one half as well as p So we'll obtain one third multiplied by beta function of one half and one half. But there is actually one more thing we can do with that expression. As we may remember, beta function can be expressed through a combination of gamma functions. So this is what we've obtained, one third multiplied by beta of one half and one half. And beta function can be expressed through a combination of gamma functions, as follows. Beta of b and q equals gamma of b times gamma of q over gamma of b plus q. So having applied that formula, we'll obtain one third multiplied by gamma of one second multiplied by another gamma of one second and divided by gamma of one because one second plus one second equals one. We also may remember that gamma function of one half equals square root of pi and gamma function of 1 equals 1. And therefore, substituting that values, we'll obtain 1 third multiplied by square root of pi multiplied by another square root of pi divided by 1, which leads us to an answer pi 
over 3. 